Hi everyone, and welcome back to another segment of Fairy Tales of Food. My name is Miss Lindsay, and again, we have my brother here today. He is the sous chef over at Grass and Bone, so he, he knows what he's talking about when it comes to food. Um, today, we are inspired by Thumbelina, which is a Ann Christian Anderson fairy tale. Um, and in that book, Thumbelina falls in love with a flower prince. So we're going to be cooking with, we've got some dandelion greens, and uh, what's, what's that over there? More greens. Uh, these are some collard greens, which is a, a good substitution if you can't find dandelion greens in the store or around your house. Alright, so uh, what are we going to be doing to the greens? Uh, essentially it's going to be a braised dish and we're going to be topping off some uh, crispy dandelion blossoms. Yes. That little texture at the end. These guys over here. Okay, cool. Well, let's, let's get started. Yeah. So now we are ready to try our braised dandelion greens and collard greens, and um, yeah, it smells really good. I know you're not getting the smell through the visuals, but it smells so good. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. It is my thought that if you add bacon to anything, it's going to come out really good. Yeah, doesn't hurt. Um, so like, when you were cutting the collard greens, what were you doing in there? You did a little, little slicey thing. Uh, I was mostly just taking out the thickest parts of the stems. A little bit of the stems are right for a little bit of crunch in there, but you don't want anything that's going to slow down your cooking process too much and have a big woody stem in there. So I took those out as best I could. Um, okay, cool. And so what other vegetables could you cook this way if you could find dandelion greens in the grocery store? Because that's a very real possibility. Um, you could use anything, of, any kind of green that you would cook with. Spinach would work well or um, adult arugula. You probably wouldn't want to use baby arugula. But uh, instead of braising and doing a long cooking process like we did with this with the, the stock and all that, you would just um, sweat your onions and garlic in your rendered bacon fat, same as we did with this, but just throw in your spinach and just cook it till it wilts, probably 30 seconds, and you'll have a delicious dish there as well. Awesome. And much quicker. Right. I'm going in for one of the uh, 
blossoms. I did just have a blossom, and that was, I think, yeah. my favorite part. So it was yeah. just fluffy and salty, and it tasted good. Like, I was concerned when we said we were going to eat uh, dandelions today. Um, but that yellow top that fried up nice and brown, mm. so far, I think that's my favorite part. Yes, nice, nice touch. An important note with that as well is to make sure uh, when you're shallow frying something like that, you want to make sure your oil is uh, shimmering and just slightly smoking a, a little bit before you put your food in the pan so you make sure you're not going to stick to the pan and you get a nice crispy edge on whatever you're trying to cook up. Gotcha. All right. This is great. I yeah. can't wait for someone else to try it. Be our next victim in our, our little food here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep eating and we'll, we'll have Justin try it out. Hi everyone, this is Miss Jessa here, and I am nervous but excited to try these dandelion greens, collard greens, fried blossoms. Pretty sure the only thing I've already eaten before is like the bacon and the garlic and the onions. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and see if I can get some of this on my fork and in my mouth. A lot harder to stab than I expected. Or like spaghetti or something. Okay. Mm. Oh my god, that's really good. That is fantastic. Yeah, let's see if I can find a flower. Well, it's, it's coming with a bit of weight to it. But... Alright. I won't lie. I'm a little nervous to eat this. Not just because I'm eating what we always assumed was a weed. Um, because, I don't know about you, but there are lots of yellow flowers. And I'm never sure what is a dandelion. So before we started this, I did some research. Because as a librarian, I'm nervous about something. The first thing I want to do is just research it thoroughly to comfort myself. And it turns out there are multiple kinds of dandelions. There's one true dandelion. And then there's lots of imitation, false dandelions and none of them are poisonous. So I could confidently go into this knowing that eating what I thought was a weed wouldn't kill me. Um, but on top of that, I also learned that dandelions are not actually weeds. It turns out that they were originally brought to our country to be a food crop, um, but we stopped eating them along the way. Not really sure why, because this is delicious. So I would, I would definitely eat this in the future. I would definitely make this in the future. And if you decide, you know, you can't find it in the grocery store, you want to go foraging and make your own food, don't be afraid to grab the dandelions in your yard. None of them will kill you. All of them are edible. And when you cook them with bacon and garlic and onions, all of them are delicious. So I'm going to finish my lunch, and I will see you next time on Fairy Tales and Foods. Mm -hmm.